All right, guys, it is late. So what I'm doing is I am marinating the steak with this and then I'm marinating the chicken with this and I am out of bags that I typically marinate with, so I am getting creative. How to get aggression out and food prep and reach your goals all at the same time. When you want some cake, slap chop. Ah, perfect. Slap chop. That's good, that's really good. I'm excited about this. This is so much fun, it's like being a kid again. Hey guys, this is night two. We ran out of time yesterday, so I had a little bit of stuff already prepped, but I wanted to show you guys the full thing of how I'm doing this. So we did have a chance to marinate all of our protein overnight. We got our chicken here, looking good. And we got our steak. And so we are going to throw it on the grill since we can. It's better on the grill. I love it that way. And it doesn't make my house hot or smell like protein. So we're going to go grill right now. Ready? ever for people who like to eat rice and I'm beating mine up but this is a rice cooker I used to make it on the stove this is so handy especially while you're food prepping um, take this out there's actually lines on the inside that teach you exactly how to do it um, but I have a bag of jasmine rice and I'm gonna make up some of that I also purchased for people who need it quick or on the go they have these microwavable packs and these are really good. I do like to keep a couple of these at the house in case I run out of this and don't have time. That way I can be prepared and cook it up and be ready to go. So we are going to do two cups of jasmine rice for this guy. All right. All right guys, a tip to make better rice is to add a little bit more water than even what this requires. Okay. It'll make it more sticky and it won't come out dry and crispy. I hate when rice is like that. I really like a sticky rice, so I add a little bit of extra water. We're gonna pick the white rice setting. You are good to go. Set it and forget it. Wow, this looks really good. I'm gonna cut it up into smaller pieces so I can weigh it and put it into my meals. MCT oil. So this is just your organic MCT oil and this one is from this one is from Vitamin Shop. So highly recommend getting Perillo if you guys are on the mainland especially. They don't send it out here. I actually contact my coach who can contact the owner of Perillo and get it sent out here but it is a little expensive. It is a much higher quality MCT oil. It's also not to be skipped because this is an oil so it's adding extra calories and this is really important to have in your diet. So you notice even on my low carb day, I'm not just going protein and veggies. I still have an energy source even though it is not carbs, we're still getting this in and that's very important. We don't starve ourselves thin, we eat well. We eat rounded, balanced meals with a lot of different things that grow from the ground. Um, and that are healthy for you and then we exercise and we train our bodies to tone it up the way that we want. Alright guys, it is 1044. 
perfect timing because now I can put this in the fridge and I have two days here that are completely ready to go. And it does give me, it does take me a little bit of time my first big prep back, but once I get in the flow of it, I end up running out of things like chicken and I just have to make chicken because I still have steak left or vice versa and I still have a lot of things already prepared. So the first one is going to be your most difficult, if you will. Um, but I have two examples here. I have a high carb day and then I have a low carb day because what I'm on right now is called a carb cycle where I go low carb for a certain period of days and then I have a high carb day and then I'll go low carb again. It really helps switch up your diet and keep your body guessing so it helps bust through plateaus or not have plateaus in general which is amazing. But I do want to tell you guys that I even though I am certified as a specialist in sports nutrition and I make diets for other people I myself have my own diet and my own progress in the hands of somebody else. When you're going into competition prep you're not always going to look at your own body and the way that's objective. You know we have kind of this filter over our eyes as we look in the mirror sometimes some body dysmorphia or you know some sort of thing where you know we're not seeing ourselves or always thinking clearly so it's always good to be putting your um, progress and your uh, results in the hands of a professional. So I will link below my coach, he's amazing, Tad the Diet Coach, at Tad the Diet Coach, he's so awesome. And so right now, let me show you guys your two options of meals. Okay, so let me walk you through this. Right here I have a handful of spinach and I have a lemon wedge. I have a little cup of fat-free Italian dressing. This actually really helps with portion sizing and it doesn't make my leaves get soggy while they're sitting in the fridge. I have bell peppers and onions uh, sauteed first and then mixed with one cup of egg whites. And on, since this is my high carb day, I'm going to have a I'm going to have some of this oatmeal and this is a sugar-free plain kind. So I'm going to add a little stevia for the sweetener. And then for my meal too, I have a cup of Brussels sprouts, a half a cup of jasmine rice, four ounces of chicken, one lemon wedge, and then I have one cup of broccoli, four ounces steak, half a cup of jasmine rice, and then back to my chicken, and this meal is very similar to the first one. I have the broccoli instead of the Brussels sprouts. Again, for my veggie, I have Brussels sprouts, my same amount of steak, and my half cup of rice. And then for this one, this is my last meal of the day, this is meal six, I get a cup of pineapple, which you guys know I love, and then I have some green salad, lemon wedge, I have my same dressing again, and then I have one cup of egg whites, and then I topped it with this guy right here. This is actually a popcorn seasoning, but this stuff is amazing. It tastes like bacon cheddar. So you get the bacon flavor without all those awful calories. We're gonna put a tablespoon of MCT oil onto either my greens or my proteins. And moving on to my low carb day. So it's very similar, just without the rice, the oatmeal, and the pineapple. So right here I have my, my egg whites, spinach, and mixed veggies, my lemon wedge, my Italian dressing. I have chicken with a lemon wedge, and then I have some green beans and a little leftover broccoli. I have, for meal three, steak, and this is cut up bell peppers. Meal four, I have my chicken and lemon wedge and green beans. Meal five, I have steak, and this will be Brussels sprouts, I still have to grab them. And then I have egg whites, green lettuce, my uh, Italian dressing, and a lemon wedge. I still have a ton of leftovers as you guys can see. I have my rice, I'm a little low on the steak, I still have a lot of chicken and my veggies and I use a lot of frozen veggies from the freezer which makes it super easy. But guys, this, I have two days already ready. An additional side note, if I feel like a, if I feel some sort of a craving 
In between my meals, I snack on pickles, and they are so good. Right. And then I wanna show you guys my craving buster. Found this, actually this is my sister Megan, turned me on to this, this is amazing. These are by, I think that's how you say it, coconut waters, five calories, they taste so good. So, this one is my favorite. I think I have a lot of favorites but the watermelon and so I drink these if I'm really feeling a craving for something or if I'm really having a hard time sticking to my meals otherwise guys I try to get in at least a gallon of water it is so important and I notice a huge difference when I'm drinking things like this versus diet coke and energy drinks which I have in the past and I still sometimes fall into that but this, I feel so good drinking, and with the water, I notice a humongous difference in my energy and everything when I'm getting in at least a gallon of water. So make sure that that is your goal with your food prep as well. Don't wait until you're thirsty or you're already dehydrated. All right, guys? So that is food prep, and it's not that hard. So spend some time with your family, call somebody up on the phone while you're doing this, put on a movie, listen to a podcast, audiobook, whatever you got going on, spend time with your family, talk to them. You guys, this is something that you can incorporate into your life. And now that this is done, I have two days where I don't have to cook and I don't have to prep anything. So even though it took me about two hours tonight, it's done for two days. So it's just about adjusting your schedule and I know you guys can do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys want to see video one to the NPC series, I will link that below and you guys can check that out and stay on point with me. This prep, this is episode number two, our food prep. Food is the most important, so I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see in my NPC prep because I'm bringing you guys along with me and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and duh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, bye.